Number one then from the 2017 Advanced Tide Exam. Here we go. The binomial expansion. Four marks. It always seems to alternate between either expand it all out or find a particular term. This time it's expand it all out, but it's quite a sensible one. Power three. That's quite sufficient to demonstrate that you know how to expand a binomial without it becoming too tedious. One thing though. In all the Martin schemes, it always seemed to want the combination written down rather than the actual numerical value, as in picking it from Pascal's triangle. So I'll just start off that way as well then. The typical term would be, since it's 3, would be 3, 0. The first part of the 2, the binomial. And the second part, so it would start off with, it is symmetrical, so you can start from either end. This can start at power 3, and that can start at power 0. The powers always add up to whatever this is, 3. Now it's just a case of putting the same things down. But power 3 means there'll only be the four terms. Used up too much room for that one, too little room for that one. I was probably panicking, thinking I'd not get them all in. That's all the space you need. So that's going to go up 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. All of these will be the 2 upon y squared. There's a be variation there. Instead of the x's, you're getting to write y instead. And the last one's a negative 5y. Why not? And then the powers. 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then I would imagine writing all that out gets you the first mark. Now start working it out. So. Know the coefficients, 1, 3, 3, 1. So 1 times 2 cubed is 8. y squared to the power 3 would be y to the power 6. And anything to the power 0 is 1. Moves up to 3. 2 squared is just 4 this time. y squared squared is just 4. And this will go to, but I'll keep the negatives tucked up inside it, negative 5y. Next one's still 3. Now it's down to just 2 over y squared. But this is going up to positive what, oh, 25y squared. And lastly, 1 times. And now that's just a 1 as well, because it's power 0. And that goes all the way to negative 125. Maybe I should have kept that number outside. y cubed. I think we'll just do that. Put that outside. And then finally just tidy it up. There's only going to be the four parts. So the first one is just 8 over y to the power 6. Next one's going to be negative and you're going to have 20, 60 here, 60 over, and that's y cubed, so that establishes a pattern. It's going to go 6, 3, 0, negative 3. Next one's gone back positive. That's 50, 150. But the y term has gone now because it's power 0, so it's just 150. And finally, it's just a minus 125. And of course, that's now going to y to the 3, because when I was saying that, that was a pattern from underneath, of course. Well, that was actually relatively painless. And I don't think there's much scope for arithmetic mistakes. So I'm imagining that most of you have bagged four marks for that question.